special effect basically is not just about the wound mm -hmm. and all those things mm -hmm. we have the likes of um, the transformations trying to change someone into an old man trying to create a, um, a character mm -hmm. maybe a witch or an alien we have what we call the sweat effect maybe someone is being engaged in an activity and is sweating mm -hmm. all those things are special effects and I'm happy you could join us for another beautiful episode of People and Places here on your favorite channel, Ghana Web TV. Before I go any further, let's take a look at these. Well, these are works produced by my guest today. He is an award-winning special effects artist and a pop director. We'll be meeting him right after this break. My name is Wanda Mihagan. Welcome aboard. Welcome back from the break. Thank you for joining us. This is Still People and Places. Our guest today is, like I said earlier, an amazing person. He, his work speaks for itself. He has quite a number of names. Um, I've seen, so I'm just going to ask him which of them is more comfortable with. <laughs> Hello, Hi. and welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you for making time to speak to welcome. us. Welcome. You're a big man. Ah, <laughs> that's what people say, man. Yeah. And you have a lot of names, Nathaniel Cruz, um, Nathaniel Amewuga, and yeah. then there's Cruz K. Yes. Which of them, would, which of them do you usually prefer them? So, um, yeah, Cruz K is actually um the band name the most popular yes okay. Okay. that's my band name mm. but then um on um facebook that's when it's nathaniel cruz okay yes but then but your Kuske, real name my real name is nathaniel, nathaniel amewuga yes okay yeah, my okay, my do you speak good away oh yeah i, I speak good away. Solid away yes i'm 100 percent just okay. that um okay. most people don't know mm. yes okay so what you do is called special effects makeup yeah <clears throat> how long have you been doing this for uh, I'll say this is my sixth year. Okay. Yeah, this Six is my sixth years. year. Wow. And why this kind of art? You know, um, uh, I don't know how to say, but it just came. I realized I had the art talent around um, 2015, 2016. Mm -hmm. Yes, that was when I realized it. So I decided to actually put that art talent into special effects. 2015, 2016, what were you, by then were you in school? Yes, so 2016, that was when I actually um, went into my tertiary. I came to GH Media School. I was actually a student from here. And currently, so you are I'm teaching in your own alma mater. Exactly. Yeah, I did mention that he's, <laughs> he's actually a tutor here. He's a lecturer here. So he came back to, you know, help students get to the point where he is now. And he's doing amazing at that as well. Yeah. So okay. basically, that was how it started. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I want to know why this kind of art, because there's a lot of art out there. There's pencil sketching, there's painting, there's sculpture, there's so many other things. What, in particular, made you choose this? Okay, so um, I just feel um, you, you need to actually find yourself in, in your comfort zone. Initially, special effects wasn't really a plan for me. Mm -hmm. I wanted to be an actor. Anything entertainment, I'm there. Mm -hmm. So I realized, okay, if I have this art talent, what area in the film space can it actually be useful for? Okay. Yes. Yeah, so that was when I actually started drawing my hypothesis and realized special effects in Ghana was really, uh, um, let me say, down. Mm -hmm. People didn't really pay attention to it so I was like okay and I also believe in making change so why don't I actually take the mantle and actually make that change so I decided to actually then do special effects so it was inspired by your desire to act yeah, exactly. being in the acting yes. and film industry yes. 
Okay, and how has the journey been so far? Before you get to that though, what was growing up for you like before you got to the point where you wanted to act? What what did you want to be? Have you always wanted to act? Um, I wouldn't say I had wanted to be an actor in future. Mm -hmm. For me, I'd wanted to be like a pilot, a land survey, because I'm, I'm good in um, this calculations, I'm good in the technical aspect, I'm good in the um, geography, I'm really good in all those aspects. So I wanted to be a pilot or like a land survey. Yeah, so it was it was after my SHS and, and um, let me see, I actually filled my exams though. Yeah. Okay, what did you study in SHS? I actually did general arts. Okay. And But then when I was in SHS, I was having more interest in the drama club kind of thing. And usually I used to do the stage thing, but I didn't see myself to be an actor one day. But it was through my SHS level and after school, I realized, okay, I think this acting thing is really something I should pay attention to. So that was when it started. So what was your favorite character back then? Yeah, that's Tom Cruise. So that was where the Cruise name came from. Okay. Tom Cruise was actually my... Your my favorite, my favorite, favorite of all favorites. Mm. So it was through that I actually decided to pick the name Cruz. Mm. But funny enough, a lot of people were named Cruz and all that. So I decided to do mine K R U Z. Okay. And actually did a research and and I realized it was a name used in America before, but not used anymore. So I, okay, why don't I pick this name? It's nice. So, it so since there have been a lot of cruises, mm -hmm. I will be the king of all the cruises. So <laughs> I did the Cruz K. Okay. So it is actually King Cruise, but I just want to make it a little artistic. So okay. Cruise K. Okay. Yeah. Nice, <laughs> nice. And uh, when when you decided to go into acting, mm -hmm. what was the reaction from people around you? Your family, your partner? Do you have a girlfriend? Um, no, assistant. I'm, I'm, I'm single. Okay. Yeah. But people around you generally, what what? What was the reaction from them like? Did they support what you wanted to do? It, it has been tough, really tough, because nobody actually thought of that. So it was difficult for people to actually buy into the idea, especially my family. Um, when it even comes to the support aspect, no one was really willing to actually give out that support because um, among, uh, let me say, 78 grandchildren, I was actually the very first to. Seventy-eight grandchildren. Yeah, we we are lots. Yeah, those. Hey, sir. <laughs> out of how many children? I'm curious. <laughs> okay, that's that's like sixteen children from my camp. What from the same? No, no, no. Two. two. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. So, <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yeah, so I decided to. I was actually the first to actually venture into the entertainment industry, mm -hmm. and they were not all willing to, because I'm I'm actually. I'm, I'm very brilliant and um, I actually, the only thing that happened was me failing my SHS exam. But then in JHS, I was really, I actually topped almost the Nungwa district. That was 2011. I had the highest grade there. So, so what I'm happened very, in SHS? You know, it, it happens. That's, that's destiny. That's nature. Mm -hmm. You cannot actually cheat nature. You cannot decide for nature. So it was true that if I hadn't failed, I wouldn't find myself in this position, okay. right? So I'm basically using that to actually the intelligence or whatever to still push through the art space. So now I'm actually a facilitator. So it doesn't mean I failed my life. <laughs> no, I only failed an exams, all. not my life. It probably was just a means to another. Exactly. Life. So okay. it was difficult for my family to really <clears throat> uh, um, accept that uh, um, decision. It was not easy but people i had people who were actually discouraging me from mm -hmm. from church one lady was like the acting industry is dead and 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 you not get paid mm -hmm. you don't have to even try it and i was like no worries no problem i'm going to push through i'll try it let me go and make it first okay let me give it a try if it doesn't work i'll come back and you have proved the world I proved everyone that you could. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Take us through the process. You had the idea in 2016. What was the journey like? Did you just wake up one day and decided to get your products? Who was your first model? Take us through the whole okay. journey. Okay, um, it, it, it came. Everything came when I was in when I was in school in GH Media, mm -hmm. and I went to acting class one day, and and our directing lecturer Major Vine, he was actually the one who 
who taught us a little of Halloween makeup. He was just doing a, a, a sketch mm -hmm. of Halloween makeup because he's a director. He studied in German film school, so mm -hmm. he, he has the knowledge of makeup and all that. So he just did a little of that. And I was like, ah, this is so nice. I was loving the whole thing. So I came to the hostel that night and actually borrowed a friend's laptop. Mm -hmm. And I was using the school Wi-Fi. And I went online watching more videos on YouTube and all that. And I realized, okay, this looks pretty interesting. So I decided to take. And funny enough, there were no materials by then mm -hmm. in Ghana. And as it stands, there are still no materials. Mm -hmm. So watching the videos and trying to create the thing was so difficult because you don't have the materials available. So how then do you create? So I decided to start doing more research and, and finding ways to improvise and still do good special effects okay. so yes that was actually my agenda from the very beginning trying to improvise mm -hmm. talking to people who were there before me i wasn't the one who brought special effects yeah. i only drove people's interest into special effects mm -hmm. but then there were pioneers who were already doing mr johnson um who, who did um chewa mm -hmm. the um, makeup mm -hmm. we used to watch mm -hmm. when we were kids yeah. he was the one who did that the chewa okay. movie so i spoke to them and uh, mr kojo hilton yeah, the art ambassador for West Africa. He's mm -hmm. actually in Ghana. Mm -hmm. And so I actually do my apprentices trying to find information, get more information. So they were doing it before. So I was looking at ways to improvise. So that was when everything started. Before I even started getting my products from Nigeria, which is actually our um, neighboring country. So that's where there's that's a That's where you get your that's products. That's where I get my products. Oh, okay. Yes. But then when I started, I was still using uh, the normal food color, the um, okay. glue, the tissue, the cutting. Mm -hmm. It's all about your creativity, so. So it's been progress. It's been progress, yes, yes, yes. And the products you get from Nigeria, are they very expensive? Yes, special effect products generally are expensive. Okay. Yes, and also getting from Nigeria, because they also get from UK, the owner is in UK. So she gets the things to Nigeria and getting from there, it's now more expensive than getting it straight from that side. Okay. Now, I've seen a lot of your works and I'm thinking you must really love horror movies or you watch a lot of, you know, gory graphic videos to be able to do the kind of things you do. <laughs> is, that, is, that what, is that where you get your ideas from? But, you know, funny enough, growing up, I never loved such movies. Okay. Even the Chewa thing, I was. I'm saying that is. I'm saying that because that particular movie, Chewa, Jan Tutu, and all those movies. When my mom is watching them, I actually put my hand in my ear, so probably <laughs> use a pillow to cover my head. Cause if I watch that, I have bad nightmare. Like I can't even eat if mm -hmm. the thing is bloody. Mm -hmm. If 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 they're doing a funeral in our hometown, they said, um, if I'm being notified that. Um, a dead body was transported through this lane i wouldn't use that road for i wouldn't use that lane for a week okay so like I, I i grew up scared of such things so so now and so my mom saw me do this thing mm -hmm. the first day mm -hmm. she was saying if she never saw me do it she would never believe mm -hmm. it okay because she knows i'm scared of blood i don't see stuff like that so how did the vim come i don't know it just came <laughs> it, it, just it, it just came because i i I put myself to task. I wanted to make a change, so I, um, I have to fight the phobia. So oh. yes, and it's even even till now, if I see real incidents, I sometimes can't stand. Okay. So if I watch it, I don't watch it from that perspective anymore. I rather watch it from the creating perspective, so I can actually do more creating like they do. Okay. Yeah. So okay. now I think I love horror films. So if you come to my my house. My movies are all horrible. Big transformation. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Do you also do normal makeup? I mean, normal makeup, which is not special effects. Yeah, so basically, yes. Makeup is makeup. If you want to do special effects, mm -hmm. obviously, you need basics of the normal beauty makeup. You know, I keep trying to make uh, this thing clear to people that um, special effects, it's actually, let's say, the motherboard of makeup. All right, it's actually the motherboard of makeup. So even the beauty makeup still is called special effects, mm. because under special effect we have what we call special effect makeup cosmetic. Okay. That's when you use the normal foundations and everything. Mm. So the beauty makeup people do, 
we still call it special effects. The reason why we add special to us, maybe we do a little of um, 3D attachments and enhancements mm -hmm. and all that. So we, we call it special. It is very special. Yeah. I have some more interesting questions for you, but we want to take a break at this point and join Enam while she gives us some facts about Ghana. We'll return and continue the conversation. Stay with us. Let's learn something interesting about Ghana. Ghana's first children's park was started in 1979 and known as Accra Children's Park or Rich Park. It was later renamed after Guinean playwright and children's author Efwa Sutherland. That's all for this week on Facts About Ghana. Until next time, let's get back and learn more with Wanda and her guests. Welcome back from that quick break. Thank you, Enam, for giving us some tidbits about Ghana. And so, in this part of the interview, we are going to be more interactive. It's going to be more practical. We are going to see what Nathaniel does on a normal day. He's going to demonstrate something interesting to us. And that is why you see his trolley here with all his tools. Not can I call you that, by the way, or oh, you yeah, just yeah, prefer yeah. Oh, nice. Okay. Okay. So, what's your favorite tool among all of these? Um, I would go for my tiny brush. Why? This brush mm -hmm. is actually the magic tool because it does almost all the detailed works. Okay. You know, um, the reason people see my work online and they're like scared and all that is because I pay attention to details and that is why I teach my people. Okay. Detail is everything. So once your details are clear. It looks so real, it looks like the real incident. Mm. So this is the little magic. That's the yeah. <laughs> that's a magic tool for exactly, you. Man. Man. <laughs> okay. And what are you going to be doing for our audience? Okay, so you know, um, we, we, we don't have enough time so mm -hmm. the, um, we can do a laceration. Okay. Laceration basically is, is um, like a deep cut, mm -hmm. but then um, the, the doctors and the science term for that is called laceration. laceration yes. Yeah. When their tissues are torn and all okay. that so yeah okay so let's start and then we'll just continue he's going to be doing this on my hand by the way okay so i think we'll have to begin so the first thing usually you have to do in special effects mm -hmm. is you always have to make sure your working area is clean okay. because these things are more of chemicals and it might react and give you some reaction so always make sure your working area is okay. really clean so you can use like um, a wipe or a sanitizer or something to just okay take it off so I think I have sorry my arm have a little injury so yeah I'm just gonna clean my area nicely all right so you can rest your arm okay mm -hmm. then okay so um, while we do this I'd like to ask aside lacerations and mm -hmm. wounds and bloody stuff what else do you do with special effects? Okay, so you know, special effect basically is not just about the wound mm -hmm. and all those things. Mm -hmm. We have the likes of um, the transformations, trying to change someone into an old man, trying to create a, um, a character, mm -hmm. maybe a witch or an alien. Uh, um, we have what we call the sweat effect. Maybe someone is being engaged in an activity and is sweating. Mm -hmm. All those things are special effects. So you're able to make someone look like they're crying? Yes. I so, saw a picture on, I think, your Twitter handle. It looked like the person had a vampire look. So okay. there was the teeth and then there was the scary eyes. Good, How good. do you do that? So um, that you actually wear a contact lens. Okay. And the teeth too, you actually you can buy it or you can create it yourself. Okay. Yeah, so for me, I told you, I actually grew up in the industry as... Um, doing more of improvisation so mm -hmm. i basically create all all those things myself 
What were some of the things you used to use before you actually started getting your product? Yeah, so the likes of um, flour and Vaseline okay. to actually create your wax. So mm. that's how we create our wax here. Yes. And then um, um, food color and probably honey could actually give you a blood. Okay. Yes, effect. Okay. So. So then aside and um, the transformation, you, you can make a lady look like a man. Exactly. And a man look like a, a lady. lady. Yes. Magic. <laughs> so the first thing I have to do is put my adhesive, my glue. Um, so you can actually use the, um, how do we call it, the top bone glue. The white glue for the carpenters. Mm -hmm. Yes. So it actually helps you do very amazing, especially. Do any of these um, products uh, create allergies? Yeah. Or have you had an encounter like that with any of your models? Not really. The only thing sometimes it, it feels uncomfortable because mm -hmm. special effect naturally is supposed to be like that. Okay. Even with the already made products, mm -hmm. they are uncomfortable. Sometimes okay. the smell and, and, and some of them create some itchiness after okay. you are done, but it doesn't really give you reactions, okay. but it's the nature of the product. Okay. Yeah, so usually when we are working on you professionally, you have to educate your clients mm -hmm. because especially in Africa, people are new to things like this. Yeah. So they may think, oh, I'm getting reaction. Please take it off. I'm scared of my skin, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. usually they are very safe for the skin. The only problem is maybe if you are asthmatic, the smell may trigger your asthma, so okay. we have to stop or probably find a way to do it without you getting your asthma yeah, thing. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so what is this here? So this is actually Vaseline. Mm -hmm. So Vaseline, actually any uh, petroleum gel can actually help you do your blending. So we have to now blend into the skin to make it feel more natural. Okay. So that it doesn't look like something was attached to the skin. What's the most difficult makeup you've had to do so far in your six years of profession? Um okay i think when i was actually trying out my first bowed cup bowed trying to cup. yes trying to improvise how to create a bowedness yes i was trying to improvise but it was not working out and i asked i had to use um let me say the hospital latest gloves okay yes to improvise but then how how did you do you that you actually tie the 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 fingers and get like a knot oh, so okay. you wear the um, where the open space. the open space so you have to wear oh. on the head but usually it's very tight so it, it gives you that, that mark, mark around the head okay. and it doesn't really work so that was my first time mm. so i realized there was no other means to actually improvise to mm. get it perfect mm -hmm. on, or, unless you have to buy the bout cup itself there's a bout cup sold okay. Okay. already made so okay. Okay. yeah and what kind of people do you work with oh for me i work with anyone Yes, so far as um, you need my service, you are my client, so. Do you have international clients? Yes, I do. I have international clients. From so. where, which countries? Or From which Nigeria, countries? South Africa, um, America. I, I, I did um, a recent job that's War From The Archives with um, Hassan. Mm -hmm. He was part of the Black Panther crew um, mm -hmm. cast. Mm -hmm. The warriors who actually did the Black Panther, he was part of them. So we did a project, a short film, War From The Archives. And that was also as a result of recommendation? Yes. No, he, he actually searched online. I worked with one of my directors and he came. We wanted to do a film and he actually volunteered to, to be a part of it. And we met him through that. So, okay. yes. Okay. And how is working, doing this kind of work mm -hmm. in the Ghanaian industry? How, how, how would you describe it? Is it difficult? Very difficult. Very, very difficult. Because people still haven't gotten the whole idea. So it, it, makes, it makes the income level difficult. Because right now, if, if, if I'm trying to do this, and also the perception people create about 
art mm -hmm. itself, not special effects mm -hmm. alone, mm -hmm. is so bad because they don't they don't respect artists, and I think that has been a major problem from the beginning in Ghana. So you know, someone calls you for a job, and it'll be like, "How much are you charging?" They'll be like, "When you charge, they'll be like, oh, this is just." Um, but it's not like that. If you want to employ someone, you don't you don't just employ someone because of what the person has come to do for you. It took me years, it took me more money to actually invest into myself. So if you go on my page, most of the works there were my personal work. I paid people to do that and post it to build my portfolio. So if you call me for a job, that alone should tell you that I am capable for capable to do what you want me to do. Mm -hmm. That's why you came for me. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to just pay me what you are paying part you get that of my investment. Thing. Oh yes, that has been especially let me say, from Ghanaians. Ghanaians. So, so that has been my fight with most people in the industry. So it means that the reception or the reaction is a is better with international clients. Yes, okay. because they understand the job. It is they brought it, so they know what goes into it. Mm. With this, if sometimes you're going to work, our things are expensive. So getting a product, mm -hmm. you might not, I might not say because I'm coming to create a wound for you, mm -hmm. it's just this small wound. Mm -hmm. If I want to create a wound, I'd have to use a wax, I'd have to use a, um, a toning paint, I'd have to use spirit gum. Mm -hmm. So just to do this wax can even cost us like a thousand cities okay. for products. Okay. But here, if you even say that amount for products, they'll say how much am I even paying you? It's not seen like that. Yes. Like, okay. So it, it's really a major problem. I think we should address. But is there improvement? Like, eh, for it, me was there it has... was it like that since you yeah. started, or people are getting to appreciate it? Obviously, people are getting to appreciate it. Mm -hmm. When I started, it was not like that, but I think it is getting better, and I know it will get better. I'm actually done with my toning. Mm -hmm. So you know, another thing in special effects is you get your blending right and your toning right so once you get that right everything works perfect so what did you use to get these colors so basically um we have the toning paints it comes in different shades mm. we have the dark brown we have the normal brown and then we have the light brown so depending on the shade of the person you actually mix. get okay. so you have to mix okay. to get the right tone right so what's right. next so now i would have to do my cutting but before that I would want to kill the shine by using a normal baby powder. We okay. call it translucent powder. Mm. So I'm just going to use a little of that to kill the shine. While we try to wrap up a uh, um, laceration that is being created by a genius special effects artist, let's talk about the number of awards he's, he's won. This one I would have to read out because they're awesome. <laughs> so we have uh, the best special effects makeup artist from the Ghana Beauty Awards 2021. We have the Discovery of the Year Fashion and Lifestyle Awards 2019. We have the prestigious West Africa Photo Arena Awards 2019. And he's won the Makeup Artist of the Year at the Ghana Arts and Culture Awards. Which other awards have I not mentioned? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have the um, Youth Excellence Award. Mm -hmm. where, yeah, the YEA um, Award. Yes, the mm -hmm. Youth in Filmmaking. Oh. Yes, I remember I was in this category with um, Komirana and then um, Andy, Andy Tete. Mm. Yes, and I actually... Won. Okay, <laughs> so now how do all these, I mean, how does getting all these awards make you feel? Because yeah. when you started, you didn't have the support you needed, but now you're doing it and you're getting better at it. And the world is getting to recognize what you do. How does that feel? It feels good, you know, it, it feels amazing doing something and, and, and being appreciated. You know, that has always been something blacks, most blacks don't know how to do. Sometimes, a wise one will even step on the streets and just 
compliment someone who is wearing a dress like you look amazing mm -hmm. you've brightened the person's day mm -hmm. so you know appreciating someone's work gives the person the courage to do more so at least i feel better when i'm being appreciated okay so i think we are getting there yeah so i think let me make it more gory <laughs> put some blood here and then i can spread it nicely so oh, she got bad. This yeah. looks like a <laughs> machete wound. Yeah. <laughs> or like I got really cut really bad. And I hate blood, trust me. But <laughs> I mean, I'm not feeling all the things I would have felt if it was real blood because yeah. this is art. But it actually looks like the real thing. It does. And it's fantastic work. In about four or five years. Where should we see Chris K? Oh, in, 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 in four or five years, we should see Chris K as, as, as the, the game changer. Okay. Yes. Okay. Because I, I really have plans of, and that has been my, my whole journey, make a change. So in four or five years, we should see that change. Mm. Yes. Amazing. <laughs> okay. We are wrapping up. But before we do, I mean, I guess it looks very calm and you know cool and all that but what you don't know is that he may be a wild person am I wrong or right what you're a wild person oh yeah, yeah, yeah. you have a wild fashion sense oh yes he's it's covered <laughs> under his scalp but he has you have dyed hair right yes blue I have pink. I have the pink and the blue thing yes that that actually means hot and cold it's it's actually growing so I I covered it and you have it's these looking. embellishments on your teeth <laughs> those basically i feel are, are um, um, my artistic colors okay yes you know it, it actually means i'm i'm cold and i'm hot yes so that's the blue and pink because yes. that's also on your teeth yes so it's a color you go with exactly but what what inspired that mm, it comes you know art, art actually comes with a lot of things so okay yes okay okay so thank you and I'm really glad we could do this together Welcome. and thank you for sharing your story with the rest of the world and thank you out there for joining us it's been another beautiful episode of people and places here on Ghana web TV expect somebody who has another great story in our next edition of the show before you go any words to people who want to learn or want to aspire to be like you and um all i can say is i'm not the big man yet and i'm not that uh what to do yet but all i can say and tell people is if you want to do something the best way is to do a lot of research and always make sure that you are passionate about what you're doing let let let, let it be the passion the passion will definitely bring the money so be happy at what you're doing and trust me we will all make it together. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Nathaniel Amewuga. He is a special effects artist, award-winning special effects artist. So that's how we wrap up. Thank you again. See you in the next edition. My name is Wanda Amihegan. Stay safe.